Hi everyone, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I have a little um, watercolor sketchbook that I would like to share with you guys. Um, I got this little sketchbook um, about four or five months back and I have not even touched it until just about three days ago. So I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing and I've been doing some watercolors so I'm just going to get started and show you what I've been doing. So here's the first one and with this is just a, a simple landscape. Um, I did this out of my head. It's not, uh, you know, I didn't look at anything or anything. So, um, and I did it with the paints that I got for Christmas. The Artistro, Artistro paints, the watercolors. Um, I was sewing this week and I was subbing and painting as they were painting so it was kind of nice so moving on here's the next one uh, this needs a lot of work but I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing and here's the next this is just some roses I can still see my pencils uh, pencil marks on this but anywho I just wanted to share let me lift it up just a little bit. I have to keep checking, make sure I'm in frame. Uh, okay. And here's the other one. Now, I did see this on um, Pinterest. And so I just kind of looked at it and went from there with it. I really like this one. This one kind of turned out really pretty. It was really pretty, pretty. Really pleasant to do. Okay. And the next is this one. I've seen this on Pinterest. Um kind of looked at it and kind of did my own thing so I really like that one okay and this is just a very small book it's like oh I don't even know what this book is my goodness it's so small it runs uh, a five by three almost three and a half so it is little here's another uh, landscape that I did Okay, that one's kind of, I kind of went with, uh, seen an idea, and then I kind of went with my own thing there. Okay, and then this one, I love this one. This is so, so pretty. It turned out, turned out really, really, really pretty. Love how vibrant, I love these paints. I just, I just fell in love with them. And here's that one, just a simple, the few flowers and the grass, greenery. And then I tried this one. This one didn't turn out too good. I even used a uh, black ink pen on this too. So there's that. Or you can turn it sideways, I guess. And then we have another landscape. Here, I was just playing around a little bit. And then here's this one. Seen this on Pinterest. Tried to do it. Not so well, I don't think. I'm going to have to practice my roses some more. But they were more whimsical roses anyway. So, But I do like my jar. Okay. And let's see. So I started to draw. So I draw a girl. Um, still working on her. I don't know if you can see that. And then I have this one here. Okay. And then that is it. So I wanted to share with you guys that. And now... I wanted to share this new paint set that I got. It's the I think it's, you say it, the the Jaime Jaime Jaime. Uh, this is gouache. Now this is how it comes. It comes in this nice container. It says it's non-toxic, innovative design, washable, bright colors, silky and smooth, and quick drying. So we're gonna take this off. Okay, and then. What comes with this is a nice little mixing palette. Really nice. Oops, got upside down. And then um, you get these really nice brushes. So look at the artwork that they put on the brushes. Plastic, the, the little plastic container, the bag here. So I'm going to take these out and we'll look at these a little bit closer. And with this, the oh, brushes are really pretty. They're pretty colors. So you get a four round, okay. Then you get 
a number six flat and then a number eight filbert so there they are they're really nicely made guys really nice so I got this set off of Amazon and I wanted to see um, it's it you know being washed I don't have any gouache paints per se um, and I saw this and I wanted to try this so but here's how they come you pull these out and then you peel off the seal so I'm going to peel off the seal and I don't know how easy this is this is my first time trying and actually it's not gonna come off that easy <laughs> it really is not it's on there pretty good so let me see all right okay here we go so I got a little yellow one it looks like yellow ochre okay so that's peeled off so that's what that looks like and I do know that these are to stay creamy and they fit right back down in the container so <clears throat> let's move on and take a few more off and then I'll I'll come back and I'll I'll have the rest of them off then so let's see what else we got see now that was pretty easy to take off though um, I trying to get a hold of it there's another thing so here we go so the thing is okay so it looks like the colors are written on the top of these so this was this was called earth yellow and then the next one is called it was called just orange so I'm gonna to have to keep track of these now this is the burnt umber that I'm working on if I can get this off of here and I'm going to have to keep track so I will be back in just a moment after I get all of these off of here and I'll keep track of what I've got and we'll look at them so I'll be right back okay guys so I took off all of the seals and it was rather messy so I would suggest that you would have some sort of wipes handy to wipe your fingers off um, and on these seals um, the names were on them what colors they were and then there's also a code number and then a lot number so I don't know what they mean but I do want to sit here and swatch these out real quick um, and the only one I was confused on was this color here they said it was purple but indeed that does not look purple to me <laughs> um, so let's just kind of get started and I know that gouache paint is a little hard to get out of your um, paintbrush so uh, bear with me here um, it might my, my brush might get a little wonky so um, I'm just gonna start here at the bottom I'm not even gonna do the white I'm just gonna go to the next um, and I'm just going to see what this is gonna look like so I want to see if you guys can actually see that I want to move my paper over a little bit so I am swatching out this color so this is that actually they called it a um what was that ochre a yellow no what well, yeah was a yellow no earth yellow is what they called it huh get with it Linda an earth yellow okay so let me just move on and then I want to go to the orange and do some orange the colors are quite vibrant and they feel really good on the paper I am anxious to experiment with these and then this one here is the black okay actually they're calling that burnt umber really it's not really a black 
Let me see where's the, oh the black's the last one. Okay, so this is ultramarine. Oh, very nice. Oh, I love these colors. I just I'm in love with these colors already. Yes, I am. Okay, let's do the black. Okay, very nice. So I was reading. Um, they said that these may dry out, but they are still usable if they dry out. But to keep them from drying out, they recommend you to spray the paints with a little mist of water before you seal it back up. Now the lid is supposed to seal these up quite well. So, and it also just said it depends on where you live. If you live in a more humid area, that these will not actually um, dry out as quick so um, we'll see I have four seasons where I live so we'll see how these are gonna do okay so on to the next and you get 30 milliliters of paint in one of these little tubs so I think that's a lot of paint oops I keep shaking my camera I apologize okay let's go on to the next this one that's a deep Prussian blue. That is so beautiful. So, so pretty. Oh, I just, I just love these paints. Okay, moving on to the next. One, two, three. Yeah, because I didn't do the white. So, go on. And then this other color here, I don't think you can see it. Let me pick this up. This is a nude color here on camera kind of looks peachy it, I mean it is sort of peachy but it is a nude color so that's kind of neat I've never seen a nude color in um, water soluble paints like this okay so the next up here and this color was sky blue okay probably pick too much up with that one okay then this one was acid blue oh they're so pretty so so pretty now the next one is what they said was purple but it, I am seeing pink so that's what we're putting on here I think it may have a purple hue to it I believe I don't know yeah, it does look like it does have a purple hue to it. It's got a little something going on there. Um, the next one was, let's see, this was called, it's P-O-N-C-E-A-U, and I don't know how to pronounce that. Ponceau? Ponceau? I do not know, but all oh, these colors are so vibrant. I hope the camera's picking that up. Okay, so let me see. Going on to the next one over here. And this one's deep red. Oh boy, she is deep. Oh, so nice. Okay, and then the last one was, it says it's an ochre color. Okay. And it is, it's like a brown. It's a brown hues. All right, I'm on the last row already. And this one's medium yellow. Give this over just a little bit more. Okay, so we have medium yellow. Okay, and then the next one is a yellow green. Oh my. Comment down below if you guys have tried this set. I think it's really nice. I just can't wait to do a project with it. Okay, there's another green. This is a uh, a pale green. It's called. Okay. And then the next one was grass green. There we go. There's grass green. And also with these colors, you can layer. And you have to let the bottom layer. Um, dry of course first before you do the next layer but you can paint layers and I think that's really good okay um, let me see this was jade green 
Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And then the last one is called, I think this one was, oh my goodness, what was this one? I threw the thing away. It's, it's a purple color. Let me show you. I'll have to go back and, because I didn't write it down, <laughs> go back. and It's probably light purple. And there you have it. So there they are, guys. There is the colors. All swatched out. And they are so vibrant. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this paint. So, um, I'll be doing a project. And I would like to do a project on camera. So we both can paint together. So, um, let me put this aside. One second. And show you how this is supposed to seal back up. Okay, so let me get this back in the view. And if you watch my last video, oh my gosh, I apologize for the bottom half of that snowman painting was out of frame and I even looked several times and I thought I had it in frame, so I'm bad. Okay, so this palette um, I'm not going to put this back in here because I've I got a feeling that this this is all going to stick. So, that'll stay out. But, this goes back on top. And it says it will seal up your paints and keep them nice. So, um, I want to show you, before I go, a mister that I have for these when I'm painting, actually. Okay, see? Nothing was on there. This has got a small little lip here on the side that fits right down in the side there to keep that from hitting the paint. So I want to show you a mister I have. Okay. <coughs> I have this aqua mister. This is what it looks like. And... I got it from, I believe it was Dick Blick, but I will link it below if I can find it. But this is actually a nice, nice mister. It's nothing like you can buy at a drugstore or a um, dollar store or any place like that um, in the garden section. This is actually made for painting. And um, I'm going to miss this, but I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but one spray will mist out. And it's very fine mist and then you know it automatically stops so I'm going to give it a spray there we go I love this <coughs> excuse me so um, there's that and then of course this came from Amazon I will link it below so you guys can check it out if you're in the store for some gouache and then um, I will do a nice little painting together with you guys and we'll see what these little paints can do so that is my video for today I thank you guys for watching and until next time <coughs> excuse me till next time I will see you soon thank you guys bye bye